Wait, She's got to be double jointed. There's no way. Here, I want to hear all about last night. How you doing, Sarah? Isn't payback sweet? Hmm? All right, consider old Roger the Dodger to be officially punked. Now, if I can just get back my... <clears throat> Sarah, unlike this clown, you know when a good joke's over, right? <clears throat> hey, Sarah, you got the Millman job? No, 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 my yep. client... Come on, guys, let's... Well, let's try to make something out of nothing. <laughs> nothing? That's my biggest client. Good really. luck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah? Wow, you've been in Hydrant Impersonator. Very impressive. Hey, it's Jerry from Beetle and Barnstein. Where's Roger? Good. He's moved on. I reviewed your account, and based on the services we're providing, we've got to raise the retainer. It's a dead giveaway. What, you think Dudley's ever gonna fork out you more? You think I'm gonna fork out for another pet cockroach campaign? The pet cockroach campaign is as dead to this agency as the person is who created it. Hey. Well, if I actually got decent work done, I might... Great. The numbers guy will contact you. All right, you know what? The guy doing Millman almost had me. Where'd you get him? You went through Donnie again, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, Chair. I mean, this is... It's like I'm not even here. It's like I'm a ghost. <laughs> okay, good job, clowns. You actually got me thinking I'm, you know... And we know that's not... And we know that's not... They say you never see it coming, but I knew I shouldn't have had that pulled pork and scotch nightcap. Thanks a lot, God. Or whatever you are. I know you're enjoying this whole office is purgatory thing. Well, go ahead. Have yourself a little party. Hell, you know, I love parties. Even if they're at my expense. Hmm. Jenkins, you've been caught on tape sexually harassing Miss Tyler. But I'm dead. In this company, that is now correct. No. I'm invisible. Your obvious mental imbalance does not change your sexual harassment activity. 
Under company guidelines, your unemployment benefits are now officially revoked. Maybe I've bypassed purgatory and I've gone straight to hell. Hell is exactly where you'll be if you challenge the benefit revocation. With our evidence, we could easily press charges. What can you charge a dead man with? There are worse fates. You have one minute to collect your personal belongings. Psst, psst, yo, down here. I always thought the down thing was a man. Well, it's, it's, it's nice to meet you, Lucifer. Keep your voice down. It's me, Jerry. You're perfectly fine. But? It's the company's new downsizing policy. The, the new downsizing policy? Last night, HR told Sarah and me that you've been axed, and we were ordered to ignore you. But why? It's the cost-efficient way to drop the axe. There's no confrontations, no scenes, and most importantly, no benefit payments once the ex-employee loses his mind and does something stupid. Like groping Sarah. You're the fifth groper to go with seven boss bitch slaps, three plant peas, and four full frontal exposures. Well, how, how can they? I mean, how could you? Hey, I got a mortgage. Time's up. Good luck. And sorry. Oh, well, you know... I honestly, I probably would have done the same thing to you, so... I have other policy violators to see, Mr. Jenkins. Wherever you end up, knock them dead. I'm sorry about, um, the, uh... I... I thought I was, you know. I I didn't I didn't think that you'd. Jeez, that was rough. Hey, you hear about when the next round of layoffs start? Yo, Sarah. Sarah? Yeah.